How's it going, everyone? Today, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Play Arts Kai Final Fantasy VII Remake Cloud Strife figure. This is number one in their lineup, and this is also the limited color version, which happened to be a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And the differences between this version and the regular version is essentially this mirrors the original game look, and we'll go more in depth um, a little bit later here. But let's take a look at the box since I love my boxes again. Um, the box is exactly what you you get with the regular release, except for the fact you get this limited color version sticker, much like what we got with the older uh, Marvel variants or even DC variants and such like that. You get the 30th anniversary right here. You get the um, Square Enix Play Arts Kai hologram authenticity sticker. You got the logo up there. Nice picture of Cloud, of the actual figure itself. You do have the magnetic window box, so you get to see where the, the uh, figure and all the accessory pieces he comes with. Over here you get another nice pic of Cloud, and then a nice little write-up, which, um, let's see if I zoom in for you guys. Hopefully, you can read that. There we go. So, you got that. And then on the back, you get some nice pics of Cloud again. And then, again, you get the machine stamp on the bottom. All right. Get that out of the way. Bring the figure back in. Now, it doesn't come with a lot of accessory pieces, unfortunately. That seems to be the running theme with Play Arts Kai. You would think that they would do a little bit more just because... This is Final Fantasy. This is a, you know, their bread and butter, their baby. Um, but uh, kind of a little disappointing on that, which I've talked about before. Price to accessories is a worth it and all that. But you do get the Player Sky stand, which I'm using right now. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm using it right now just so he stands and doesn't take a dive on me. Um, very impressive looking figure, though. I will say that. The... The sculpt is very nice. Um, looking at the head and you know just the color of his eyes and such, they just pop. Um, the detail as far as like in the shoulder um, bits here is nice. The screws, the paint um, is pretty spot on. In but there are some issues which we'll get to in a second. Um, you do have the nice texturing for his his. Um, outfit and such got the zippers down there and everything else all right now as far as the differences between this version and the regular release he's got a lighter shade of of um, on his hair on this release and then also his entire outfit is more in tune to the original classic Final Fantasy 7 game where the original has more of a um, black grayish um, color scheme this has the nice little kind of purplish blue and then also with the straps and some other accent pieces are also different and then there's a little bit of differences in the sword but that is it there's no other extra um, stuff that you get with this figure all right let's look at his accessories really quickly and then we'll dive into his articulation so he does come with well, let's go back up here. He does come with four pairs of hands. Out of the packaging, he has the closed-fisted hands. And then he's got several pairs of open and closed hands. So left and right, you have this sword gripping hand, which is for just straight up and down gripping the sword. Got some nice detail, especially on his um, left hand. Then you have this sword gripping hand, which is more, he's holding it at an angle and utilized for um, dual um, sword gripping. But And then he's got a more relaxed pair of hands and such. I do wish that he came with another pair of hands that were more of a... Um, 
kind of open gripping hand so it's a little bit better to um, to wield the sword with two hands opposed to trying to use it with this angle and trying to finagle the um, the joints and such he does come with this piece right here which plugs into his back this is how you house the buster sword on him there is a bring him back in piece right here you just pop this out kind of a tight fit but you plug that in and then you can uh, put the sword on and speaking of sword cloud would be nothing without his buster sword look at this thing this thing is nice now I said that cloud is ten and a half inches tall his sword is probably I don't know what nine and three quarters I mean it's it's a huge sword got some detail but not a lot um, they tried to do a kind of battle damage kind of look to it um, didn't really work in my opinion um, the original release has a little bit more weathering and um, it's more you know battle scarred I guess but nonetheless, it looks good. Uh, the sword hilt is red here. The regular release is, I think, actually a brown. Um, and again, you saw where you can plug it in. You use this the first hole right there. It just plugs in just like that. And then you have Cloud with this sword. I would be careful um, when you are putting the sword into his hand um, just because of the fact that it's a tight fit and you can see this is kind of a really thin handle and there's a little bit of a little bit of a give so I would be very careful with that trying to um, maneuver it into the into the hands but all in all though very nice looking and um, really cool all right as far as articulation and such, not bad. Um, standard, you know, again, um, articulation that you find with the player's Kai figure. You got the ball ratcheted hinges for the elbows, the wrist, and the ankles, so you can manipulate at the top and at the bottom to have a swivel and then you just manipulate the ball hinge around so you can get an extra you know like if you want the ankle rocker for the ankles and such as far as his head double ball peg so you got a nice range of motion the hair doesn't really hinder anything um, I mean can't really look too far up I guess so I guess there's a little bit of problem there but other than that you do have a nice range of motion also, his neck is on a ball peg, so it goes into the chest. His arms um, don't really have the, the best because it reminds me, I believe it's, we got this with the Wonder Woman, BBS Wonder Woman, where it plugs into this little piece into the cavity of the body. And with that, you don't get any, you don't get a butterfly hinge. You can't even manipulate it to have a butterfly inch, which is an epic fail if you want to, you know, be able to hold the sword with two hands. This piece right here, most of the time I've seen armor bits on like a ball hinge so you can manipulate that and move it out of the way. This is not the case, um, but it doesn't really do a lot um, to it. The, the fact of the matter is you can't really rotate his arms around. It's on a... His shoulder rotates on this hinge, but you can't rotate it around because they decided to plug it in downward, which I don't get that. Um, that makes sense. You do have the bicep swivel. Um, again, you got the elbow joint, wrist joint. As far as the torso you do have it on a ball hinge but it's on a, a ball peg but you do have a hinge so you do have a some clicks one click forward one click back um, it's not so far back that you get this you know gaping hole which is nice um, 
And then you have the waist, which is on a ball hinge T-joint. This is a softer plastic. It's also a floating piece, this piece right here. And then within that piece, on that piece, this piece floats around. So you do have some manipulation for the, the waist, the torso. As far as the hips, you can rotate about to there without getting bunched up by the crotch piece. Can't really go back too far because um, of the butt. You do have a uh, cut joint in the thigh, double hinged knees. Are they ugly? I don't know. They don't look, uh, they're, I'm indifferent. And then again, you saw you can manipulate the um, the ankle because of that ball joint. So there you go. And you get a toe hinge. So again, it's the standard stuff that we're accustomed to seeing with Play Arts Kai. Now, as far as the paint, I do like it in certain spots. The uh, the shading on the face looks really good. Uh, it's going to be hard with my, my lights and such. Uh, but... The texturing on the outfit again, the shading, you know, throughout and such. But the the skin tone is not bad, but this is across the board a a problem with Player Sky stuff. They can never really match that ball joint when they're doing um, like trying to match it to a costume or to, in this case the, the the skin tone. It's a little bit lighter, pinkish tone if it comes up probably can't see it on camera but um, that's a little a little odd but it doesn't really take away from the figure um, also you get some nice shading up here as far as in the pants but then all of a sudden it just disappears and becomes you know light and then you get the shading back down here which is kind of odd it's like right where at the thigh joint at the cut joint they decided to stop doing the shading which is something I wouldn't expect Play Arts Kai Square Enix to want to do, especially with a Final Fantasy figure. Oh well. All right. Lastly, let's compare them with the second release in the remake series, Barrett. And uh, we'll take him off the stand. So, and they look really good together. Um, I'm really hoping we get more um, figures at least announced soon as far as like a Tifa Lockhart, Valentine, all that. But um, for right now, this is what we got. So, and he's okay. I'll do a review of him, but he's got issues also. But, all right, so that's it. Um, nice piece. If you're a Final Fantasy VII fan, a Cloud fan, I would definitely recommend picking it up. Again, you could get this version or the regular release. The regular release is probably going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, luckily for me, I was able to get this on the Square Enix um, store when they had um, their sale. So he wasn't that expensive. But other than that, um, really nice piece. Again, I wish he did come with some more accessory pieces, but really you don't need more with cloud you, you you got a sword some hands boom it's done so um, unlike the advent children version where you had a ton of swords and such um this one you don't have that but that's it thanks for watching guys really do appreciate it stay tuned for more um don't forget to check out plastic fanatics like and subscribe i do appreciate it and that's it so um take it easy